Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is Google's brand new Pixel 3a XL. This comes in at a very reasonable $479, and in many cases, if you buy it at a local electronics store or even through Project Fi or Google Fi, you can get it for $100 off or get a $100 rebate later on through a gift card or something like that. And there's three different colors. There's clearly white, just like this one, just black and purple-ish. Now let's go ahead and open it up and then we'll talk about the specs. So this is the just white color in the 3A XL and this should be about the same size as the previous 3XL. And here's the phone itself. I'll set this aside just for a moment to see what's in the box. And here we have a little bit of literature here, it looks like. We've got a SIM card removal tool, user guide, some Pixel stickers, and a little warranty pamphlet. Set that aside. And we've got the, well, it looks like it's stuck in there a little bit. This helps you transfer your data from a different phone to this particular phone. So you'll see it's USB-A to USB-C. And then we have a USB-C cable. Let's see what else we have in here assuming it's just the charger and we just have the typical pixel charger USB-C on the back and AC adapter on the other side. So let's set this aside and take a closer look at the phone. This has a nice size to it. It's plastic instead of metal on the back, but it has a very similar feel to the 3XL. So here's a 3XL next to it. This is in not pink, but you'll see they look very similar. They have the same orange button on the side, although it is a little bit different shade and the volume rocker and everything's in the same exact location. Let's take a look at the bottom here. So on the bottom, We've got down firing speakers with a USB-C in the middle. Then on the left hand side, we have a SIM card tray. Let's take a look at that. Let's pop the SIM card tray out and you'll see it's a single SIM card and there is no support for dual SIM cards that I'm aware of, but it does have eSIM support. So that part's nice. On top, we have a headphone jack and then we have a microphone here as well and the power and volume buttons like I mentioned before. It has a nice six inch display. So let's turn this on and then we'll talk about the specs. Underneath the front glass, which is called Dragon Tail Glass, it's not Gorilla Glass, there is a six inch OLED display that's 2160 by 1080. It's got 402 pixels per inch. It doesn't have a notch if you haven't noticed, but there are larger bezels on the top and bottom. On the top we have a speaker and on the bottom we have a speaker, but it fires out the bottom of the phone as opposed to directly at you. Internally is a Snapdragon 670 CPU with four gigabytes of RAM, an Adreno 615 GPU, and there's a 3700 milliamp hour battery that should be good for all day battery life. There is no image processing chip, and there's also no wireless charging. Now on the back, we have a 12 megapixel camera with an F1.8 aperture that can record in 4K 30. On the front, we have an eight megapixel camera with an F2.0 aperture that records in 1080p. There are no dual cameras on the front this time around. The 3A XL is booted up. Let me bring in the 3XL so you can see the displays side by side. So there's no notch on the 3A XL and it looks pretty good. It's nice and symmetrical for the most part. So let's go ahead and set it up. So you'll see it says hi there. We'll hit start. We'll skip connecting to a mobile network. I'll do that later. Putting in a SIM card, I'll connect to Wi Fi. Now, one thing I noticed while typing in my password for Wi Fi, it has really good haptic feedback. It feels very similar to the 3XL. So, if it's anything like that, it will be very welcomed as I really like the haptic feedback that's on the 3XL. Now, you can see this will take a few minutes to check for updates. So, for now, I'm not going to copy my data from a different device. I'll do that later on. I'll probably reset this and move over some settings and things, but just for the sake of this video, I'll set this up so we can take a quick look at it. We'll accept the terms and then we'll set up pixel imprint, which is our fingerprint. So we'll just set up one, two, three, four for now. Again, like I said, I'll set this up a little bit later to use it, but pixel imprint on the back. There we go. All set and we'll hit okay. 
and it says adding finishing finishing touches so we'll wait just a few minutes for it to set up and we're already in so this is the stock home screen i haven't changed anything and i'll set it up a little bit later with all of my information but these are all the default apps that come installed and the display actually looks pretty good it'll be it'll take a little while to know for sure next to a 3xl to know if it's as good as that but let's take a quick look at the camera as some people are saying it's as good as the pixel 3 in 3xl and it was pretty fast there but it doesn't have the image processor in it so it takes a second to process i guess it looks okay it may take a little bit to process that for sure but i'll be testing that over the next few days or so now the other thing this is running android 9 pi and you'll see it's got the march security update on it so they'll need to update this one as well or i'll do that as soon as i can but it's going to get all of the regular updates you would expect from a pixel device but the actual feel in the hands is quite nice even though it is plastic it feels very similar to the 3xl and that's because it's got the same coating on it but it's not as cold i guess because this is aluminum underneath this is plastic it also has the responsive edge here so i can squeeze it and go into google assistant and that's something i use all the time on the pixel devices now so i really appreciate that let me know if there's anything specifically you'd like to see about the 3xl in the comments below and i'll link this wallpaper for you in the description below this is just the stock wallpaper so i'll link this one for you and if you have any other comments or questions let me know what you think in the comments if you haven't subscribed already though please subscribe and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like if not the other one's okay too as always thanks for watching this is Aaron. I'll see you next time.